for me. Thank you. Uh, tonight is about, budget, uh, about our budget and housing. The headline announcement is the rent freeze, a decision we welcome and have voted for. Uh, it's important to remind residents that this will not put any money back into the pockets of the most vulnerable, um, um, the most vulnerable to the cost of li living crisis we face, those whose rent is paid directly through housing benefit. Um, there, will be, there will be no cash richer and will still be left vulnerable to the appalling mismanagement the current Conservative government of the current Conservative government that is plunging so many into hardship. It's also worth noting that Wandsworth has the second highest council rents in London, so a freeze might be, a nice, it might be nice before an election. Um, I seem to remember one last time. Um, but but it, it, gets to the root, it doesn't get to the root of the problem. As I think I've mentioned a few times, um, I'm one of the few council councillors who actually rents his home from the council. Um, it was council housing that ensured I, was, I had an affordable home to grow up in on Surrey Lane when I was... Uh, lucky enough to get one uh, as I grew up. It meant that I had stability and security and could stay in the borough that I love. Um, my life has been drastically and undeniably improved because of this vital part of our social security system. But my daughter's generation isn't so lucky. The hollowing out of this important public infrastructure is what's behind our current housing crisis. Wandsworth Council's record on council housing is well known. This borough has long been a conservative, conservative testing ground. This is where they tested out their harshest policies and where their future leaders cut their teeth. Conservative policies saw us, saw, saw us sell off entire blocks of council homes. We lost 30,000 without replacing them. These policies have turned homes into financial assets. Just take a look up at Wandsworth's new skyline if you need proof. Uh, they've led us to the absurd situation where we find, that we find ourselves in today with more than 3,000 homeless families and the council which, is, which has to now rent back properties it used to own at market rates just to give people temporary accommodation and keep families off the streets. The papers we will be voting on tonight show just how much this system and these policies are failing. Every year since, uh, since 2010, homelessness in our borough has gone up. When Labour win the council in May, we will do whatever is necessary to reverse this trend. Of course, there's an election around the corner, so tonight we'll be hearing new policy announcements and schemes. Um, this, this has been my first term as a councillor, but I seem to remember a similar shaking of the money tree four years ago. Um, Realising that their record of, of building 243 council homes in the last 15 years was a scandal, the Conservatives decided to launch the so-called Thousand Years, Thousand, Thousand Homes programme. Sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, but, but, as, but, but as with every Conservative administration, you need to read the fine print. Uh, the scheme uses pub public land, people's garages, green space, land that we will never get back to build market rate homes, which the council then sells to pay for new council homes. Of the thousand homes in the programme, only 442 are actual real council homes. But that's the Tory way. Privatise public assets to cover up for systemic failures. Throw money around when there's election, make big commitments, then fail to follow through. If Labour win in May, the first thing we will do is make, this, is make the Thousand Homes programme a real Thousand Council Homes programme. 1,000 council homes at low rents, not, no private flats on public land. Politicians sometimes get accused of hanging out in weird places, so I slightly hesitate to finish on a quote from somewhere that I normally wouldn't be, Conservative Home website. The Cabinet member recently wrote an article can you, on there. Can you wrap it up now? I, I am indeed. Wrote Thank an article you. on there, um, and the comment from a local Conservative member stood out. I won't, I won't, uh, I won't go for it, but basically said, you're building the wrong homes. I absolutely agree. Ones of Conservatives can't even get the support of their own for their vision. They're building the wrong homes for the people of Wandsworth. Thankfully, in a few months' time, Labour will be able to deliver where the Conservative Council has failed. I call